Hello and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today I'm going to show you why you don't want to use softened water on your house plants. Uh, this is a Hoya carnosa, a wax plant, beautiful plant when it blooms. Um, I've done videos on them. We'll be doing more videos on them in the future as well. I love this plant. Now this plant here was uh, being rooted in water, which they can be rooted in water. As you can see, it does have roots here um, by someone. However, they didn't know that they weren't supposed to be using softened water. So softened water is high in salt and you can see how yellowy this, this plant is. So it's having a lot of problems, even though it did create roots. I think at one point, uh, someone was using reverse osmosis water and then someone else took over and started using softened water. So it got the roots during that good time. And then it's been just uh, kind of falling uh, falling into bad times here um, having the salt water so of course now I have it in I don't it's no longer in softened water I actually don't have softened water so that makes things easier if you do have softened water you need to use reverse osmosis water you need to use distilled water or rain water well water as long as it's not high in salt um, works well and I want to show you here the difference oh, I'm dribbling everywhere today I'm going to show you here the difference. Okay, so here is the same plant. So this plant here is this plant. You can see the difference in the coloration in the leaves. This is a healthy plant. It is growing in soil. And this one is uh, struggling because of that salt. So if you have plants that are uh, getting yellowy and there's your experience leaf drop, the plants are stunted, not growing well, etc., that's a sign of salt um, build up in the soil or in the water if you're if you have it in the plant in water rooting it and that um, is not a good sign because you can see from, even from looking at this plant and I'm hoping it'll it'll start to green up at some point here but I have to give it some time probably honestly two three four months before it's going to start to go to spring back here the um, so that salt buildup as mentioned uh, is going to cause problems for your plants. So, and I have other videos on that and how to deal with that. Just wanted to show you here the stark uh, difference here um, between these two plants, one growing in, uh, in, in a salt, uh, uh, low salt environment, and the other one growing in a high salt environment, and why it's really important that you don't use softened water on your plants. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.